guys, so it's Thursday and I've been vlogging every single day this week and I tried editing it and it's like, right now it's like 50 minutes, but I'm actually going to take some of my stuff out that I filmed and do like an organized Christmas update uh, for the 25th of this month. And I know that that's not everyone's jam to be thinking about Christmas in April, but I know a lot of people also like being organized and doing that. and. You know, for me, it's just like a little bit of time throughout the month at this point. You know, maybe an hour here or there or whatever. But, so, uh, this morning, I'm, I'm, I tried editing that, but I'm going to do that. And then I also have, I think, the next part of my House to Home series. Uh, I started talking in this vlog about it, but I think I may use it for that vlog as kind of like, do you think this is a good idea, input, whatever, because I kind of give a few scenarios. So taking that stuff out, I'll have today and um, tomorrow is always the start of our weekend vlogs. So I really vlogged every day this week and tried to show you what a true week is in my life. And it's honestly dropping the kids off, doing a bunch of chores and errands and cleaning and whatever it may be, trying to balance YouTube and Sensi in it. And then obviously helping my kids with homework and driving them around to their sports or whatever. So, I don't know what she's saying. I just put Mo on it, so maybe she's singing that. But um, this morning we did not have water. They shut down water to our entire neighborhood because some something had a leak somewhere. Um, so that kind of rained on my parade for my plans for today because I wanted to do my kitchen clean with me, which I need water for, and film that. Uh, I wanted to film my cleaning video, which I did. I, I filmed part one of two of some cleaning products that I like. I didn't think it would be a two-part thing, but it's definitely going to be. And then I just mopped my floors and organized my floors, or yeah, mopped my floors and did some laundry organized under my bathroom sink. Uh, just some kind of boring stuff, uh, but I am, the water just did get shut back on, but I was in the midst of cleaning out my car, so we're taking my car now because I have a car wash I like to go to, we're going to wash my car and get all the pollen and dirt off of it and then vacuum it out and I hosed off all my mats so that whenever I get back, or maybe when I get back from getting the kids, I can put all my mats back in and then um, wash the interior of my car I'll just bring my spray water bottle and I'll wet a few Norex cloths and I'll be able to clean it while I'm waiting for the kids to get out of school so it's a good way to and I think that's another big part of my day I'm constantly multitasking like now that I do car pickup the other day I was working on my Christmas binder I'll read like if I get mail or whatever I'll save it up and go through it then and then work on like my budget that way um, I was addressing Scentsy catalogs this week that way. You know what I mean? Like, I really try to maximize my time as much as possible because, like, I mean, I could do that stuff at softball practice, but I like to watch her practice, you know? Um, like, I'll kind of play on my phone here and there and go up and watch her. And so I think that's perfect stuff to do during car pickup time. But I'm going to go clean my car out. That's definitely on my to-do list. And then when the kids get home from school, we're going to all get the trash outside work on that and then um, I'll do the kitchen clean with me and thankfully we have nothing to do today after school so that's really good I have my grocery list made I'm just gonna check the weekly ads and see if the things on my list are on sale and just put what store to get them at but tomorrow we'll go grocery shopping and all that stuff so um, yeah it's been kind of fun filming a week in the life I've been toying around with the idea of vlogging every day this summer so every day that my kids are out of school thinking about vlogging and because I'm vlogging every day doesn't necessarily mean I'll post every day like I'm thinking that we will you know some days have short vlogs some days have long vlogs so we can kind of add them together and once I get into that like 10 to 15 minute mark um, post you know where we've gotten to at that point but I'm definitely thinking of doing that just for the memories. Uh, I really do love looking back and watching those videos. And I know that like when we do things like that, my mom likes watching and my family likes watching and stuff like that. So just something kind of on my radar. And I know that I've gotten a lot of comments lately saying people miss our just like day in the life, boring type videos. Um, so maybe 
something that I'll do, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, so we are headed to get the car washed, drop some stuff off at Goodwill, and get the kids from school. Good morning guys, it's Friday finally, and uh, this weekend is Easter, and we have a um, softball game tomorrow, we want to dye eggs with the kids tomorrow, and then we have Easter on Sunday, and I'm going to assume most places close here on Sunday, uh, so it'll be really nice to kind of have a really low-key weekend at home. Um, we're going to be doing some yard work. Um, our lawn is not the best, and um, we looked at our agreement, and it's um, our responsibility. And I mean, I don't think that they care because clearly no one has taken care of it in a while because it's slowly, you know, getting worse or whatever. Um, but that's just not us. Well, I should say that's just not me. Um, I kind of bullied my husband into doing this. So we bought like one of the little cedar things. Then we bought a um, package of weed and feed. And we're probably going to need one more, but um, I want to just try to, you know, get it back to mainly grass. And then um, I am planting a few more of those little spikes that I bought because they do, like, uh, now that we know Simba will kill them, uh, we have them going pee in the back of the house. Uh, and I think that they'll look really good by the end of the season because they did look really good when we moved in in June. So I um, may do a little bit of yard work this weekend. Um, I will have a few bags of mulch there, but I need to clear out all of the beds, all of the flower beds, because um, there are definitely some weeds and some overgrowth. And then there's a few like sticker type plants or perker type plants, and I don't want them because I've run into them and they hurt and my kids have run into them. So I'm just going to pull them out because we have more than enough of what the HOA wants um, plant-wise in our house. So I'm just going to pull them out and uh, maybe move some stuff around that's there and then we will remulch and it'll look really, really nice for the next year or two. Um, so to do that today, I have to go to Costco today. We want to go to Hobby Lobby and at home again. I'm going to go to a different one to see if they have anything different to finish off the upper part of the hallway. Um, She's drinking. I really hope that that's a new yogurt. Uh, I have to vacuum out my car today uh, and then go grocery shopping and I have a very small list this week. Like that's my list. Well, you can't see because it's all whitewashed. But a uh, very small list this week. The majority of the cost is going to be the fact that I'm buying meat from Costco uh, and that will actually end up costing me very um, I think 40 to 50 is normally what I spend, but then I will have enough meat for at least two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. So that's, you know, good. Um, I had the kids clean up their rooms this morning because I knew that it's going to be a long day of me out running errands and there's nothing worse than, I think there was a dead snake for them. There's nothing worse than like, you know, needing to like clean a house after you've ran, ran errands all day. You just don't want to do it. And then that's how the house gets behind on the weekend. So I'm just trying to be proactive or whatever. So uh, I do have a coupon. I bought a $5, I paid $5 for $10 worth of Dunkin' Donuts at um, like Groupon or something. So I think Ellie and I will get some Dunkin' Donuts this morning and just, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy these last few weeks where it's just me and Ellie. Um, I'm having a real hard time with the fact that she's going to preschool next year all day. You know, in my head, I had always just assumed that she was going to do the same type of preschool that the other kids did and, you know, go four days a week uh, for a half a day and I still would have her. And then even in kindergarten in New Hampshire, it's still half a day. So it's real hard knowing that I'm losing a lot of time with her that I didn't get with my other kids. And given with her and Casey, I had an extra year of preschool, but still, I'm definitely definitely really missing it and are gonna miss it so I'm just trying to take advantage of this little time that her and I have together you know while it lasts because I think the kids have like six weeks left of school all right so we are done at Target and I spent $60 there uh, okay. um Ellie did get one thing which is like that's her allowance type thing for the week for you know doing good or whatever um, and then I did end up spending like $25 
on sandals for the girls, but it's been in my head the entire time. The first time I see the BOGO 50 on girls sandals that I'm gonna get the girls sandals because neither of them, Ellie has a pair from last year, but they are like, they were left out in the rain. They were dirty. Like when she wears them, they smell and they're getting a little bit too close. To, like her feet are like almost a little bit over the top. So, um, she, so I got both girls a pair of sandals and I'm just going to throw them in their Easter baskets. Uh, and then what else did I get that was on the list? Oh, and then I have Casey won a poster at school and it's a Star Wars one. He really wants it up in his room. So I told him that I would get a frame for it. So I got that because it was like $7.99 and my husband found one on Amazon, but it was like 15 bucks. So um, I got Casey that so that that can be done. So now we are going to head to Hobby Lobby because Costco isn't open yet. Wow. Costco was nuts. We got here at 10 minutes after they open and I'm like in the back of the parking lot. Like it's crazy busy. Here people definitely I think have four day work weeks. Cause like when my husband comes home from work on Fridays, there's like no traffic and then the stores are just jam packed. I hate shopping on Fridays, but I just have such a good routine throughout the week and I've always shopped on Fridays. That it's just hard getting out of habit. But I definitely think I want to start shopping on like Mondays or something, but doing pretty good on our list. Um, I spent 60 there. So I think minus the shoes and Ellie staying in the other thing, I think I'm under 100 still. So. Alright, we are headed to Walmart and then we are done. Uh, it's already getting warm. <laughs> oh, I actually have my AC on in my car. Because my husband tells me it's less... I guess having your windows down is harder on your car than not. Whatever. So we're gonna go to Walmart and finish up the last few things we need. So far I've spent about 75 bucks. No, 85 bucks. So hoping to be around like 100, 125. Um, but knowing that I have meat for next week too is really awesome. And when I get home, I'm gonna look at my meal plan and see what I can meal plan now that I have plenty of meat for maybe see if I can go like a week and a half and try to start shopping on like Wednesdays or Thursdays because it is just here, I think a lot of people take advantage of four-day work weeks and just do the 10-hour days Monday through Thursday because you can definitely see like it's crazy busy on Fridays and it drives me nuts and all the stores like that's the day they put out a lot of their inventory like the targets and stuff so it's just it's not a good shopping day and I always get like really annoyed by the end of shopping so um, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do see if I can push it and go like on Wednesday or something no. Alright, so we're done at Walmart. Got everything I needed. And then I got oh, this. That was four bucks, three ninety seven. Yeah, we got some flowers. I put them down so we don't break them. We'll put them in the ground later today. And then I found these when I used to do the nature box. I used to love these. Can you please sit down and put your book on? Uh, the, they're the dried pineapple rings. Um, obviously these aren't the nature box ones. But every now and then I crave them. So we'll see if they're as good. Oh, I think they're thicker than the ones from Nature Box. Mm. Mm. They're definitely not as good. There's, they're thicker. Do you have your buckle on? Get your buckle on, please. But they'll do. Mm. Good job, Aubrey. <laughs> Casey, stop working for lunch. There we go. Watch that ball. She's going to crush it if she doesn't make contact. Aubrey! Yeah, awesome. Oh, 
That was a strike. It's good that you swung. It's all right, Aubrey. Shake it off. back from going grocery shopping. The house is kind of a mess. I got paperwork everywhere, but figured I would show you guys a quick haul. We thankfully had a lot this time, so we didn't have to buy too much. So, uh, first things first, we got these Jet Puff marshmallows. The only reason we got these is because they were free with the cereal we bought. So these will be good to make our crispy treats over the summer. It'll be a fun treat that we can do and the kids can make them. Uh, we got some hot dog buns. We're gonna grill out one day this week. This is the sign I got for upstairs. It says, hello world. It's from Hobby Lobby. It was normally 20 bucks and we got it for 10 on sale. I got a Mr. Pib. Um, I got a milk because it was on sale from Target for like $1.60. Uh, I got these pineapple rings because I wanted them to be like the ones from Nature Box, but they're not. So if you know of a good dried pineapple ring that tastes like those, let me know. All right, Ellie's bringing me groceries, so bear with us. So we got some shredded iceberg lettuce from Walmart for tacos and taco salad this week. We got some Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. I really like their steak sauce. I'm going to try that this time. We've been using a lot of barbecue sauce. Ellie picked these type of cheese sticks, and then she also picked some wedges too. I'll find those in a minute. We also got some sub rolls. Don't mind my daughter's shoe on the counter. <laughs> we also got some sub rolls for a dinner this week. Um, and I'm gonna put this stuff away and wait till she brings me more. Actually, no, she's got it all. Ellie, no, no, don't open the Gatorades out, please. All right, so we got this huge uh, pack of Gatorade, 28 Gatorades, right? Or this month they're on sale for 10 bucks. So we got that. We got some bananas. No, you can leave the stuff in the back, Ellie. We got some bananas, a huge thing of strawberries, a huge thing of beef, and a huge thing of chicken. This beef is 19.65 for 6.16 pounds. This chicken was 18.11 for six and a half pounds, and I think that that's I love this meat. We got uh, Simba an Easter basket, so we got him this. I guess it's like a mix of the deer antler stuff that he likes or something else we also have another stick that we're missing that we got him a rope some balls and an Easter basket we got some pepperoni 
We got my husband some snacks, so some peanut butter bars, some donut sticks, some iced honey buns, and then these are for the kids' lunches this week, oatmeal pies. This was the cereal we got at Target. It was $2.50 plus it got that. Um, the marshmallows for free. I grabbed these for the kids from Easter from us. Uh, there was They were $3 and there was dollar coupons on them. Uh, Ellie picked this type of fruit snack. These are the shoes we got the girls. They're buy one, get one 50% off. They're gonna go in their Easter basket for mom and dad. Um, some sharp cheddar cheese, some Colby Jack cheese bars. Oh, here's the other thing we got for Simba. Um, so that'll all go in his basket. We got a Snickers bunny from mom. Eggs were two for a dollar at Target. We also got the kids milk, another one of those. And then the Cinnamon Toast Crunch was $4.67 at Costco, oh, I think. Wow. Ellie, don't touch the chicken, please. Go wash your hands now. Um, so yeah, that's our haul. I didn't spend a ton of money. I'm around $1.40 maybe. But like the cereal will last into two weeks. The meat will last into two weeks. My husband's snacks will last into two weeks. So we're pretty good. And we have a lot of stuff in the fridge and freezer still.